Hey everyone, Kyle once again, <clears throat> and welcome back to the next episode review of The Girl I Like for Gara Glasses, episode 8. Um, another, an another, enjoy another enjoyable episode. Another fun, cute, and once again, charming episode. I mean, it's, each one has like a, like, it was felt like this had like four, it had like, had like four or three different plot lines in this. <laughs> but, um, first off in this, in this one... Where when it's raining, before the credits, you know, um, it, it's raining and uh, Mie doesn't have her glasses again, and so Komura is telling her to be careful, you know, to step in any puddles. But evidently she does. She does, and now her feet are completely uh, soaked. So, so when they get in 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 um, class, this um, <laughs> little. Innocent moment where um, Mie tells Komura to look away for a second. Well, she takes her socks off, and she says, she, she, and uh, says, "Oh, you can look now." And he's and he's look and <laughs> Komura just look at her, just seeing her um, once again. Probably say in his mind, it's cute, you know, seeing seeing her um, barefoot in classroom, like in class, like that. And he's like, "Oh," and said, um, "She's like, you can look now." And he's like, "No, I think I'll just go look at the look at the rain for a bit. It's nice." <laughs> So that once again, that's a, once again very uh, cute moment there, and then after the credits, where um another uh, time after school where this time she does have her glasses on this time, and Comer is seeing her on a swing set with her glasses this time, like I said, and but uh, this time she didn't forget her glass time. This time she doesn't have her keys with her, so she can't get into her house. So she has to wait for her mom to to go to to open the lock. So she's she's sitting on a swing set. So Komura is telling her to give her a push, you know, and she has this very happy face, happy looking on happy happy face on her on her. So and it's just like she really is like to, when she it's like when she has her glasses on, she has that um that cute that cute look on her face. Like it's when I went to the last one where she was um rubbing um Komura's shoulders, you know. And she had that um, look on her face, you know. So he's, he's 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 pushing her on the swing, and then, but then she see he sees those, those those two other kids are in front of her, you know, playing soccer, right? And then, and uh, he's afraid that since she's going up so high, she he's afraid that the kids are gonna look up her skirt, right? And so he goes and goes and stops her all of a sudden, and then she's looking and she's looking I'm looking up at him like so, and he's like it's all right, I'm wearing pants. And she shows, and she shows, shows that she's actually wearing um, shorts under her skirt, and it's like it's fine. And then she, all of a sudden, he, she, um, she, but all that she's concerned about that she might be heavy again. So I was like, I wonder what, what I weigh this time. <laughs> and so now, um, now it's in the, in the middle in the middle of the night now, where um, Comer is, is asleep, but she gets a, he gets a call from uh, Mie that uh, she's sleeping over at a friend's house. And she's trying to find her way to the bathroom because she doesn't have her glasses again, and she she's a little bit scared because they had a, they were watching a horror film and she want she wants Koma to sing to her you know to take her mind off of things and he's hearing certain things over the on his other end of the phone like um it's like oh um my phone got caught in my uh my ribbons my and it's like oh her pajamas has ribbons so she's she he's imagining oh her she's wearing pajamas with ribbons on her on him right. And so he's slowly singing, and then all of a sudden he hears uh, he hears her mom outside the door, freaking that you know that uh, she's gonna catch him while talking on the phone. So she doesn't talk a moment, and Mia's like, "Hello," and maybe she try she try whispering. Mia says, "Oh, um, I must have I must have muted it by accident," <laughs> and so he tells her to turn the the light, the flashlight on her phone on, so to see, and now she finally makes her way to the bathroom. And then all of a sudden, it's, then it's like, she he's like, he faces she's gonna he's gonna hear her go to the bathroom. It's like, oh um, me tells him um, let me put you on mute for a second. And there is other where she she has that just has that where she has she um has a cute expression where she um, you know where with the part where he was whispering in the phone and she her eyes go wide like this. I mean that was like a very another cute uh, moment with her, you know, even without her without her glasses. 
And so he wants he wanted to uh, thank uh, for just for for helping her um, for helping her right. <laughs> and so she walks back to the room with her friends, and so she ends up falling asleep on top of them, you know. <laughs> so. And then afterwards, like another, another like another day where she doesn't have her glasses again. Um, um, Como was, was walking up from school when he um notices at the back of the gymnasium where he sees that he sees that that popular kid uh, Azuma, uh, talking to this girl right, and he's wondering what's going on. And but first he sees the cat and he follows the cat to the back of the gym. That's where he sees them right. So he quickly hides behind a tree, and. Like he knows he's walking in on a confession. Like the girl's gonna trying to you know confess her feelings to Oz, Ozum, Ozum, Ozuma. So, and the the cat the cat is meowing, thinking he's gonna get caught. And then all of a sudden, uh, Mie comes walking up on the other side of the building, and they think that she's gonna end up walking in on them, right? But the cat go, and cause she, but she's looking for the cat. She's making the meow noise like she did from before. The cat goes to her this time, and. Looking at it right, and Komura is just making sure that she doesn't walk in on them, right? So, but uh, as the girl starts to confess, right, and she, Mie starts walking towards Komuro, so Komuro makes a split decision to quickly grab her and pull, um, hold on to her while she's um, saying the what she's about to say the words. So she confesses that she loves uh, him, but uh, Ozma says, "Hey, I'm very flattered." Um, th thanks for telling me this, though, but I'm not interested, basically. And the girl did, and really enough, the girl, like how in Lock of Visions, like, the girl doesn't start crying, you know? She says, oh, okay. You know, basically, um, thanks, thanks anyway. So, and, um, Mie's like, oh, um, she was about to, because Komura was the first to think that Mie was not going to get what it, since she, she, she doesn't have her glasses. And I guess, and I guess, um... So I, she, she says, oh, I guess I was about to walk in on him, right? And it's like, okay, maybe she does get it. And then she goes and says, well, maybe, oh, the cats are gone. And Komura's like, huh? <laughs> it's like she both gets, she gets it, and at the same time doesn't get it. <laughs> she's like, get, she gets it because of that, and also at the same time she doesn't get it because she's too busy on, like, focusing on the cat, you know? So. But, um, yeah, so, um, I thought that was another really fun, a really, a very, um, Fun, another fun episode. I mean, the the most of it was like when she when she went um at the sleepover, you know. She she doesn't have her glasses, so she's trying to find her way to the bathroom and calls Comra, you know, to help guide her to the bathroom. Like first, she's scared because they they watched a horror film and she wants him to sing to her to help get take her mind off it. <laughs> and and he's just, our boy's just like just so crushing on every little thing that she does, you know. Of you know, always you know, help her sing sing to her to, while she finds the bathroom. Oh, turn your light. There it is. Oh, first I'm gonna put you on mute so she is, so she isn't uh, uh, so that he doesn't hear her go to the bathroom. So oh, let me put you on mute for a second. <laughs> or the whole thing at the beginning where you know where she gets her socks wet and she takes them off and because you know and and he gets so flustered when when um. Because he sees, you know, um, her um, wearing no socks, just barefoot in class, you know, and just goes, turns away, he's like, hey, you can look now, and it's like, no, no, thank you, I think I'll just go and uh, look at the rain, it's nice. <laughs> or another part where, um, there's another part where, um, uh, where she's, um, outside the, outside the convenience store, he was getting something, and he sees her eating a popsicle, right? And... She know, and he noticed on the popsicle that she uh, won something, right? Where it says on on the popsicle stick, and she was about to throw it away, and Komura quickly grabs her hand, tells her, "Hey, you won something." And she kindly, uh, she and she kindly gives it to her, gives it to him. It's like, "Here, you can have it." And um, then just goes and walks back home. So, and he's like, "So like, oh, she, basically, he's holding the popsicle that, that she just ate off of, basically." I mean, he's just too much head over heels for her, you know. I mean, every he's, every single thing she does in his mind is is so cute and adorable, you know. Everything, you know. He's just I haven't seen a guy who has this big crush on a girl in a, quite some time, you know. Like on every little, especially on every little thing that she does, you know, in his in his mind. <laughs> so 
the whole thing with a Willie said with a swing before trying you know even you see sometimes he's trying to be protective her like like on the swing set she's a he's afraid those two kids were to see up her skirt but he stops her but really now she was wearing shorts underneath her skirt <laughs> helping her out sing to the bathroom and then um just quickly try to keep her quiet while um the girl was trying to confess to Azuma right so so this is like probably like there's like four mini plot lines in this, in one episode. <laughs> So the wet socks, the swing, the sleepover, the little popsicle stick, and then with the whole confession. So yeah, that's like five instances, little instances in one episode. I'm like, wow. Shove one thing at one, all that into one episode. Okay. Even if they were short though, but still. <laughs> but yeah, but I, had, I had another fun, it was another fun episode. I really enjoyed it. So, you know, very, one, was it once again, fun, cute uh, incidences, you know, you could say, so. Yeah, but I really enjoyed it. So that's episode 8 of um, The Girl I Like Forgot Her Glasses. Fun and enjoyable episode. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one, and we'll see you next time. Later.